We're all here because we want to understand the nature of our own experience. And just to see that all of the questions are about clarifying and understanding the nature of your own experience. And you know, what does it mean? How can I be um, the best version of me that I can be? Um, how do I cope with the unpredictable nature of my experience, my ever-changing thoughts and emotions? You know, how do I navigate my way through life? Um, and, and these, these are questions that had always interested me. And so to finally come across a, a teaching in a group of people where there's this shared interest and this shared um, like commitment and, and determination to, to really understand what's going on, I just find it amazing. And it's still amazing for me to find myself in this setting. Um, so thank you all for being here. It's really powerful. And not only do we have the interest here, but the incredible thing is, is that we have this teaching and this practice of the Four Mainstays where we're enabled and empowered to find the solutions and the answers as to how we can understand our own experience, how we can make sense of it, how we can navigate our way through lives in a really powerful, loving um, and, and clear way. And um, and I didn't know that that was possible until I met this teaching. I, I, I didn't even know that there were, were people that knew how to do that, and let alone people that knew how to do that and then could communicate it and show me how I could also learn to do the same. And so that's what's going on here, and this is the practice of the Four Mainstays. And um, as most of you know, the first of the Mainstays is the practice of short moments. And it's just such a beautiful gift to be given this practice. It's, it's so, so simple that sometimes, particularly if you're newer, it can seem too simple. And, and the practice is really just to stop doing and stop managing and stop trying to change or alter or understand what is occurring for us. Allowing what we can call our data, our data streams, just to be exactly as they are. So just to rest mind and body naturally, resting neither tense nor loose, just resting naturally and allowing everything to be as it is, allowing mind to think as it will, allowing our perception just to be as it is. And it's so relaxing. And what I discovered for myself in the repetition of these short moments <coughs> is that I really do have the power to make this choice in all circumstances. And it's such a simple choice. Am I going to continue to follow after the data, which are just anything that we can experience or perceive, any thought, emotion, experience, perception, it doesn't matter how we label it, any of the content of our experience. And I can follow after that endlessly. And it's always changing. Have you noticed that, the way that your experience is always changing? You can't hold on to any particular perception or experience or thought. It's always flowing seamlessly into the next one. This is why the, the description of it being a stream of data is particularly apt and um, accurate. And so what I do when I follow after it, or I try and block it, or I try and manage it, is I'm somehow trying to do something with this ever-changing flow of experience. And the subtleties of the ways in which I've learned to try and manage my experience and understanding and seeing what those are is what the training is all about. Because with some of the belief systems that I've taken on board in terms of what my experience should look like, what it shouldn't look like and how I need to manage it are things that I've been telling myself for so long and everybody else all around me, all of my society and friends and family have also been telling me for so long that I don't even notice that I've taken these belief systems on board and I've made them mine. And I've tried to make sense of my life based on these ideas that are just second-hand information. That things are a particular way and that they need to be a particular way and that they have a particular meaning. And the power of the practice of short moments, of just stopping the descriptions, just resting the mind naturally, allowing it to think as it will, 
is that I see instinctively and directly that actually all that's going on is this law of love and wisdom and clarity. Because all that's actually going on is this bright open intelligence streaming this data. And when I allow the data to stream, the obviousness of this brightness and this clarity of this intelligence naturally increases. It is already the nature of all of my experience. We don't have to do anything to make our intelligence wide open, bright and clear. That's already its natural state. So the simple practice of short moments is that we rest as that bright, clear, relaxed and potent state. That openness of perception. And this is one way we could understand the phrase freedom in immediate perception. The freedom in the immediate perception is simply allowing it to be as it is. When I stop describing and I rest as that awareness, as that open intelligence, I'm completely free of the need to do anything with anything that I'm perceiving or experiencing. And for me this was so radical. It, it was just the opposite of everything that I'd learned in my life. Like all of the subtle belief systems about what was right and what was wrong. So in terms of um, feeling grief or sadness, and that's a, such a powerful example. And the ideas I had and I'd learned and told myself around that. So it just seemed to be really obvious that I should not be feeling grief or sadness. And that when I felt grief or sadness, then that was a sign that something was wrong. Like there's something wrong with me or my experience or another person or life in general or society or but there's something wrong there's definitely something wrong and so the beauty of the practice of the four mainstays is really seeing for myself directly and instinctively in a short moment of allowing the grief and the sadness to be as it is without doing anything with it without screaming it out without blocking it without endlessly indulging the stories about it, but by allowing it to be as it is and recognizing simultaneous to the feelings of grief and sadness, this great perceptual openness. And then my relationship with the grief and the sadness changes immediately. The struggle with it, the struggle with needing to find out what I do with it, how I can feel comfortable with it, how I can get rid of it, that ends immediately. In that, in that one short moment. And from that position I can see what will be of most benefit. This is, the, this is the law of wisdom and love that we're tapping into. This is the actual nature of our mind and our intelligence, is to see what will be the most loving and wise thing that we can do in each time, place and circumstance. This is the power of our mind, this is the power of who we are. And by resting as that power, as that awareness, as that open intelligence, we have immediate access to that wisdom and that love. And so then everything is included. If I want to go and scream and shout, that's included. All options are open. But I'm not choosing those options based on past belief systems about what I need to do to manage this. My actions and my responsiveness then become an expression of that spontaneous wisdom. And so the whole training is learning and settling into this as our identity, as our reality, as who we really are, who we've really always been. And so it's not difficult, but it just takes a little getting used to. And that's certainly been the way it has been for me. When the practice of short moments seemed difficult, then, which, which is also kind of to be expected because the habit and the idea that some of these things are wrong and that we shouldn't feel these things, you know, it can seem so deeply ingrained that this is why the rest of the support is there. It's not just short moments of open intelligence or short moments of resting as awareness. The teaching is the practice of the four mainstays. And so for excellent results it requires all four mainstays. So that's the trainings as well, the written trainings that evoke this instinctive recognition. And being in a training setting where you can ask detailed questions about your own experience, about your own practice of applying short moments and relying on open intelligence. 
and hearing the experience of other people who are also training this up, the community, being inspired by other people's example, having a relationship with a trainer who will always see you as open intelligence and nothing else. It's not fooled by any of the really sometimes repetitive and insistent stories about how you need to do something with this particular data stream. And the skillful means that can be shared through that relationship in letting you see that you can also relax with this data stream and allow it to be as it is and recognize that the law of love and wisdom also applies with this data stream. That it's not somehow separate or different from all other experience. Which we know intellectually, nothing can have an independent nature. Nothing can be found to have an independent nature separate or apart from open intelligence. But how do we instinctively recognize it and live it when we're feeling this incredible collapse into fear or sadness or something really powerful? So to have that support is absolutely key. So these four mainstays provide this training and this support, this unerring support that just brings you back to reality again and again and again and again. And each time it's just like coming back home, it's like coming back to what is most familiar where you feel absolutely safe in being who you are not needing to pretend to be anybody else or to contrive anything, just resting as you are. Just so beautiful, such a beautiful way to live. And, and that's the teaching here, it's this integration of the most sublime instinctive recognition that you've had into everyday lived experience. And this is perfectly possible, this is something that's been going on for many, many years. It's worked for many, many people. It just requires you to decide if really this is what you're interested in and to keep showing up with that openness and that commitment and that determination. And then the results are guaranteed.